gentlemen, 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 Mikey V, Giuseppe D, with the Fuck Lombardi trophy with that? here this afternoon. He is flashing the Green Bay Packer Why? Lombardi Why? trophy. And by the way, I'm going to tell you this right now before we even get to the Lombardi trophy. I think that podcasts here on the Brilliant Dumb Show are better when Giuseppe has a hat off i like seeing the i like seeing the hair fly you're getting exactly that today i guess we got to start with the lombardi trophy because if i'm not wrong mikey v it's kind of hard to ignore giuseppe d take it away gentlemen how are we doing today <laughs> why why is that why is that trophy there just out of curiosity i mean why not it's a beautiful trophy no but you had to right. know that we were starting the podcast with that because we're looking right at it I just, I, I, it was a gift that was given to me. I, 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 I love it. It's, it's very dear to me. And I, I just wanted to, you know, I, a lot of people have background images. Bear Downs got his Ohio State, you know, and Bears jerseys in the background. Why can't I have a Packers Lombardi trophy here? I mean, sitting in front of you, it just, it's just, it's just, it's just right there. Bam. It's very aggressive. It's an aggressive move. But, I can understand if like they were playing for the Super Bowl this week or something. Well, like I'm that, just but. excited for football season. It seems like it's, you know, still a, mi- a million miles away, but I, I'm excited for football season. And, you know, I just got this. I'm very excited about the Packers this year. And I don't know, it it's won't like be a staple in every single episode, but I, I felt like, you know, I, you, you know, know, you know what I want to ask you. I don't even, I don't even want to start off with football. I want to ask you. And there was a lot of ways I wanted to start off the podcast, but I got to ask you. You were just at IKEA. What are is the hype around the IKEA meatball a real thing? By the way, IKEA, I think one of the worst places in America. I'd rather go to the DMV. <laughs> Yeah, I was supposed to go to the DMV today. I ended up at IKEA instead. Yeah, the tell, jet. now tell me about this meatball, though, Joseph. I, so in the traditional sense of meatball that we all know, like Bear Down and I know being from a classic Italian culture, it's it's dog <laughs> shit. I mean, it's not the giant specific meatball uh, with sauce, the marinara and the Parmesan cheese. It's a, it's a cheese. Swedish meatball. They're right? little tiny. They almost look like dog dumplings. And but I will say they were for what it is. They were not that bad. They serve them with some gravy and cranberry sauce. I had to try them. Um, you can get them like people are going nuts to line up to get them. These things were it's yeah, through the roof, which I feel like, and bear down, correct me if I'm wrong. People nowadays just don't know what good food is. That's people absolute, are that's, you just absolutely, hit the nail. You hit the nail on the head. My father's been saying that for years. People don't know what they're eating. They don't know what good food is. That's 100% a hundred percent accurate. Shame. And I feel like we, as you know, as people who have, are in the know, like the enlightened ones, we need to share this knowledge this power that we have um, with the masses. We need to be able to provide, you know, the the knowledge of what good food entails to, to more people. And I actually feel like when we incorporate food into the podcast, it actually does better ratings. People can receive it better. And I feel like maybe we need to start embracing the food culture more because I feel like there's just a lot of lost people out there, if I'm being yeah, very Katsi, honest. I, I haven't told you this, but when you told me you were going to Ikea today, part of the reason that you went with the Jet to Ikea today, the Jet wanted to buy a, a new couch, and yes. he sent me the couch that he bought, and it was just a classic Jet couch to where – there was nothing to it. I mean, it looked like one of the most <laughs> uncomfortable couches. It was very comfortable. I will give Jet credit. The one, that he, the one that he ordered? I don't know which picture he sent you, but we sat on multiple couches, and I will confirm the one that he ordered is comfortable. The one Because the one that he ordered, because I always felt like, it, to me, and I like my couch. I don't love my couch. Well, your that, couch looks good. It's good. It's a good look. It, but it it's not um it's not the most comfortable. I think the couch is one of the most important purchases. Yeah, of my an couch apartment. sucks. Look at how terrible this thing. Yeah, is. you this gotta thing. get a good. So I I bashed Jet's couch a little bit when he sent me the picture because. What point did he send you the picture? Because it's probably not the same one that we ended up getting. 
probably not. No, it was he had to send me it a few days ago. And I said, Jet, you want me to be completely honest with you? I said, I think it looks wildly uncomfortable. But knowing the Jet, he probably just <laughs> he wanted to get in. He wanted he to get He told out. me he said the first couch we see will buy. I said, Jet, I'm not driving you 45 minutes, almost an hour to Burbank to pick out the first couch you see. At least let's make sure it's comfortable, you know? Now, Ben, the couch behind you looks very comfortable. He's got a great couch. I've seen it. I've never sat on it in the Bear Cave, but it looks very – even like the fabric almost looks like a suede. Joe, it's terrific. It looks very nice. It's like a microfiber. It's uh, all fully – every piece reclines, four-piece sectional. You know, it's it's the standard man cave type of couch. And it's a big couch, too. Big couch. Big couch. Big couch. Big man, big couch. Now, I will say my goal is by the end of this year, this upcoming fiscal year, to try to move. But if I don't move, my promise is, is I will absolutely be buying a new couch because I have couch. absolutely ridden this one to the grave. And it is just now it's got the 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 option that it turns into the futon, which has been good because Lord knows tickets made good use of it. But but I will say that the couch itself, it's not like a welcoming big sectional like it's not also like you it's gotta- just you can't sink into it. You know, I've said to my mom a lot of times, because sometimes my mom will go looks over comfort. Don't care about the looks. People always think that they're going to have more company than they actually have. Everybody Mm. says, oh, I want to get it for entertaining. How often are you actually entertaining to where you got to get the good couch? Mikey V, how much... How much control do you have over furniture, Joe? How much does Holly take over? Because I feel like the cave is all yours. How much control do you have over furniture? Uh, the cave pretty much is where where it begins and ends. Like the new house, I already <laughs> told her. I was like, you know, new house. We have we've had this couch now for years. We've had this couch for six, seven years. It served us very well. So you know, it's time for it's time for a new piece of furniture for couch in the in the upstairs, cave. Upstairs, upstairs, or in the cave. Uh, upstairs, we're going to keep that sectional that we have in the living room that you've sat in. Did you like that sectional, Joseph? I thought it was a good couch. I think it's a good sectional. (laughs) Yeah, it's a good sectional. Uh, It's it's on the newer side. It's only two years old. So to get rid of that would be kind of silly. It is beat up, obviously, when you have kids. I mean, Dom just he's like Tarzan jumping jumping around. It's just absurd. It's absurd. They really give it a good. He really gives it a (laughs) run for his money. But but. I don't I don't I, I it's just a. I trust you to make the right call on the couch. I just, I find it a little concerning because it's one of those things where if it's not broke, don't fix it. I think your couch down there is fantastic. It is. But the problem is, is now like it goes very well down here. Like this is tile flooring down here and it's almost the same color as the couch. The walls are like they're khaki, but in the new cave, the setup is going to be quite different. I'm going to have vinyl plank flooring with a, like a honey color. The bar top is going to be perhaps a, a white, uh, a white quartz uh, granite top, <laughs> Navy, <laughs> Navy, uh, Navy leather bar, like bar facing um, so accent Navy wall. I mean, so, bear down spare, you know, no expense on this game. No, he's oh, really not. Lord. He's it's got, under heavy construction. Right <laughs> I don't know if I could shout it out, but I'm going to. He's got a member who would come up onto the Patreon happy hours mm. who's just like a classic, like who's his Dickie color. Gas? No, not, not, not Dickie Gas. <laughs> no. No. Mr. Paul Cafone. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Push, push Paul that guy sounds like he belongs in Goodfellas. Let me Paul. tell you, he oh. was a wild son of a gun. I mean, just his stare. I got such a kick out of it when I found out that he's actually the one renovating Mikey V's new man cave. Um, I had a lot of thoughts, but it seems like he's doing a very good job, Mikey V. Yeah, he's doing a great job. There's going to be now the next like two weeks are really crunch time because, you know, we have to be out of here by the end of the month. So these next two weeks are like crunch time. Things are really progressing over there. It is a anybody who's listening, who's bought a new home and went through renovations of HVAC and electric, a total electric upgrade, plumbing upgrade, bathroom reno, basement reno, like, you know, exactly what I'm talking about, like waiting for all these different contractors to come in to do what they got to do. But Paul, I kind of let Paul quarterback the whole thing. He's GCing, he's general contracting the whole job. So he's kind of like the quarterback, but I'm the general manager. I'm the owner and I'm a very demanding owner. I'm a demanding owner, but Paul responds very well. 
He's very communicative, <sighs> transparent. So have He's you on had the money. To, have you had to have some tough conversations with him in regards to something that you don't think is right, or are you okay with laying down that type? Of well, law? you know, uh, we have to communicate with. It's me, him, and my wife communicating. And you know, there's sometimes as you know, he may make a recommendation, and you know, my wife has one idea, I have another idea, and then he has this an idea. Guy. So we have to meet somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Let me tell you something. That is not an easy <laughs> job, bro. It is no. not an easy job because. People want things done the way they want it done. But in his mind, you know, he's seen a lot. He does this for a living. So, you know, he will make his recommendations. But I tell you what, he's been nothing but a gentleman. Uh, he's been very consistent. And like I said, some of these guys, bro, and anybody listening who's done it knows are impossible to get in touch with. They're impossible to get in touch with. He's the complete opposite. Text you right back. Call you right back. He's 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 aces like that. So, Mike, I, I'm sorry. I gotta stop you, Joe. Are are we are we doing this? I, the Lombardi Trophy to me, it's so bizarre. It's obnoxious is what it is. Are and we, and to be honest, I mean, this team hasn't episode? won a fucking Lombardi it's, it's, in, in it's like ten most, years. Like, Come on it's now. It's the most outrageous. Like, are we doing this whole episode with that? Uh, yes. Why? Why? Why is that? Bear and I, you know what the funniest thing is? He's like, well, he's you like know, Bear Down's got Bear Down's got the yeah, but it's all the way back there. Back there. This would well, be I like don't have I anything in the backdrop. I, I don't have a trophy just case. Stood it right, right next to me. But I gotta tell you what I did to Cutsy and Cutsy. I, as much as I was laughing about it. I, I did feel bad because it was an honest mistake that I made, but oh god, <laughs> it was this was you know, bad. You don't know the other foot, it would be a different <laughs> story every time. This guy, man, do you know the, what he did? Bear down, it's no, pretty bad. It's nope. it's it's pretty bad. And it, b- before you go, this is an honest, honest mistake. Oh, yeah, that makes it just as bad, Bob, because you, you were howling for fucking an hour. So we, we're working with our good friends at Corona Premier, shout them out. And um, we, we needed to get ready for a video that we need to drop because as many of you know, we're going to be in Boston this upcoming week for the U.S. Open. And we're trying to promote people to come. We're going to be doing a live podcast. We'll, we'll leave it at that. It's going to be a huge event. So we needed to send like a 60 second clip of us on a story, basically shouting out Corona and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. So Bob did a video, sent it to me. I said, Bob, that looks good. Go ahead and send the email to Sydney, uh, who is the girl, the nice girl helping us out. So Bob sends the email and in the attachment, when I come, I see the email come from Bob. I go to click to make sure he sent the right video. You know what video he included? Yeah. He uploaded the video of me bailing in the fucking hallway on it at my work for those for those who a corporate remember. sponsor. <laughs> and the week. lady, you know, she just responded like, this is really funny, but not the video I was looking for. Last and I'm week. sitting there looking like a Joe jerk, or or, or, or those, is it the or is it the video you were looking for? <laughs> for, oh, for, well, those, <laughs> for those who don't remember, last week we finally released a clip of Cutsy falling in the hotel that he was working at. It's one, it just gets funnier as you watch it. But when I sent it in, to, I sent the video into Corona that I thought was the sponsored ad. And when she responded to me like, Hey, like, um, haha, I don't think this is the video you meant to send. <laughs> my heart sank. Cause you're thinking to yourself, oh, what? God in yeah. God? I mean, this God is a forbid. big sponsor for us. And I open that video and it's cold cuts just wiping out. And I called them and like I was cracking up, but at the same time, like I I did apologize as he's laughing emphatically. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, though, I'm not positive after seeing both videos that I'm sold that that video is funnier than the yoga ball fall. Yoga I think the one yoga of the ball classic. The yoga ball is you one have of the, the audio. The audio in the yoga ball because you got the coach saying, "Come on, Joe, you got it, Joe." And then you got Joe says something like, <laughs> Joe, "Joe trying to hype himself up." He's like, yeah. and for those who didn't see, I don't know if we put it out on the last week. There's a video of Gutsy trying to stand oh. on a yoga ball. Yeah, uh, somehow, somehow that practice. <laughs> For he was a goalie, and somehow that helps his. I used to be able to stand on these Swiss balls, bear down, do a squat, and jump to the next one, and keep my balance. (laughs) There's no Joe. Shut the fuck up, Joe. There's no Joe. Joe, you can't jump, (laughs) Joe. Who are you, Bruce fucking Lee? (laughs) 
You're going to jump from one medicine ball onto another medicine ball. Well, it was stationary. Yes. It was like, it was like, there's two things holding it in place. Crouching tiger hidden (laughs) cutsy. Why would I make this up? I I used to be an absolute specimen of. uh, (laughs) I'm not saying that you were not saying I'm saying the best athlete in the world. Hold on. Hold on. Now, maybe I can understand if you were trying to stand on a single medicine ball. Yes, I can. That okay, maybe I could say and I could squat and then jump to the next one. But to say that you were jumping (laughs) on to the next medicine ball and standing, there is absolutely no way that's the case. One medicine ball again, I'm fine, but leapfrogging yoga ball to yoga ball. I could. There's no way. Can you a Mario brother? Can we get digs or somebody? There's no way. I don't think you realize how, how much of an athlete I used to be, Bob. But it's I know that. it's hard to notice because now no, I've let myself no, go no, beyond no. belief, but I still, I, I had the eye of the tiger, Bob. I used to work out like a fucking madman. You know, I had personal cut, trainers and shit. Clip, that, clip that eye of the tiger uh, <laughs> that, portion there. Ticket, yeah, please. you're going to be Thank all you. over that. Yeah, Cutsy yeah. used to like just send, and I always found it riveting to our group chat. He used to send like randomly at night, he would send like old like, photos of Cutsy and like his rave days because like Cutsy had a had a day where like he was raving like he was going hard <laughs> and he'll send in those photos take you don't want to see these photos it, bear down it's right up your alley I mean if yeah. you were to see it it is just uh, it, I'll pull I'll pull one up before oh, if, that, if Lord the knows will be I mean the big ticket who, who <laughs> now by the way is also on the ones and twos here at the brilliant dumb show show Big shout out, big ticket. He's got comedic awareness with the clips and whatnot. So between the jet and the ticket working hand in hand, I mean, ticket might even be able to blurb out that ridiculous Lombardi trophy that we're looking at right now. All right, here's 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 some Look of them. Here, okay, that's me. Look at me. Look at how, Look at, how much of a, it's hard. Which it's hard, one are you? I'm here. It's hard to see though. Well, I'm gonna have Joe. I'm gonna have ticket go over these. I mean, uh, bear down. It's this. <laughs> bro, you were hey, look, look, this. This. look at this. Oh wait, now cuts cuts had the uh the tote bag over the shoulder up, before bro. it was even popular. Yeah, he, he was, was trendy. The Gucci yeah. merch yeah. there, go right? Up, there. Go up a little bit now, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I need the guys from home to see this. That cuts, you would have fit right in at Temps and Surf Club. Forget. By the, I mean, oh, look, I at, love- look at me here. Look at look at this is the specimen I was. Look at that young man right there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, also, too, I mean, yeah. while we're at it, if we could load up some of the Mikey V old. Oh, photos, the Mikey like Mike, V. By the, the way, Mikey V. Mikey v. Days, exactly. I don't know how it's possible to get exactly. that big. He was. Bro, Bob, big, do you know the bro. picture I'm talking about, Bob? Dude, you know the one. There's he, one where Mikey V looks like he's <laughs> he looks like he's ready to explode. Like the I'm muscle. Ready. I'm ready, so bro. Far out. Bob, you know the picture I'm t- telling you about? Like, I don't know. Way we can get Look, the picture on. Mikey, that one is it's unbelievable, bro. You know, it, I if I told you my regiment at that <laughs> point in my life, you guys wouldn't even believe what I used to do, bro. I was prepping at that point in my life. I was prepping and Tupperwearing eight meals a day, eight meals a day, bro. Eight meals a day I was eating, and it was all the same: grilled chicken, broccoli, sweet potato, grilled <laughs> chicken, broccoli, sweet potato. Two eight hours meals? a day, two hours a day in the gym. Two hours a day in the gym. Here's what I'm curious. All of that. Here's what I'm curious about, though, Mikey B. Yes, because right now, yeah. you're you're so lean. Like you're yeah, so yeah, you look I, really good. You're right so now, Mikey. fit. And by the way, back then, crazy, crazy muscle mass. But my question to you is. Did you ever, because I look at these guys that are like massive. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. you think there's a point like at some time where it's almost too it's, big? It's too much, yeah. You look I, like I, if you took a I needle, he was going to pop. <laughs> I, say, <laughs> I say that all the time, bro. That's the classic. You see, that's the difference. Like if you look at Arnold back in the day when Arnold was winning Olympias. It's like too much, he, right? No, I no, no I, I think was that perfect. his classic physique in the 70s when he was winning Olympias, he had a great physique. But if you look at these guys now who are winning up. the Olympias, like these guys don't yeah, look, they look ridiculous. human. They look like aliens. Like Ronnie like Coleman. Yeah, Ronnie. Well, Ronnie was like the start of it. But these guys now are on so much growth hormone. Like everything, like they don't even have abs. Like their stomachs are just like. They look like now. aliens. It's, it looks crazy. And I'm only lifting. I only lift now, Bob, to, to, to the lean part. I only lift like two, three days a week now. Now, Baron, when you were back so then, fit. what was the max bench you could do? 
I was benching like at my peak. <laughs> I was always doing dumbbells. I was never a barbell bench press guy because my arms were so long. I was always a dumbbell guy. I was doing like 140s on incline, 140, Wait, 140. Let me, pound let me ask you this in, in all seriousness. 140 aside dumbbells? Yes. Mikey yes. B, let me ask you this. I can okay. still do hundreds. I can't, yeah. do, I if, can't do anything. Like I could barely do 75 on the if, dumbbells. If me and you got into a cage match right now, okay, oh, UFC. I pop you like a soda can, yeah, Bob. How, how, oh, how long do you think I would last? Now, I know you would never want to hit me, but, but you would series, crush you, Bob. There's no question. But how long do you think I would last? You're you're in shape, Bob. You work out. Uh, Bob, here's the thing about Bob. Bob is a closet workout guy. He's a closet workout. Bob does exercises like Bob exercises five days a week, I would say. Right, Bob? Is yeah, that right around there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, right yeah and he's there. a cardio guy. So I mean, you you'd be running around for quite some time. I mean, if Mikey. I got my if I got the pause on you, it'd be a little bit. Oh god. Now like, I almost pause. think that if we could get that old bear down back, I think he could be fucking Jake Paul. No, look. I, I, I might Bob, be cool. you, saw, I might be, you need to show be, the picture. By the way, I might be cooling off on Jake Paul a little bit. I saw some comments that he made, and I'm not going to get into specifics, but I saw a couple comments he made, and I don't. Are you a fan of Jake Paul? I, I wouldn't say I'm a fan, but I, the hatred oh, level just isn't my. there anymore. God. I don't think. I think I've See, gone. See, that's cold a real a shame. That's just I, a shame you know, that you let tends, that. Yeah, yeah. I wanted him. I wanted him. I mean, I would still. Take we it. want the I'd feud still to be alive. I would love it. I, I will say this. I don't think I, I still think he's not. He's a Fugazi boxer. Like he needs to box a real boxer. I'm tired of him boxing like washed up UFC guys and former football players like box a pound for pound legit boxer beat him. And then I will be like, OK, Jake Paul has my respect. I want to see him box somebody because boxing to, to me is very, but, you know, but, very important. I but you mean to tell me that that he, he didn't gain your respect on any of the, the boxing that he had? I mean, he gained my respect. I don't know, Bob. I mean, I want to see him. Like, I want to see him. If you it, here to me is a subtle thing because Vegas never lies. Mm. To, Tommy Fury, who's a pure boxer, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah, was yeah. going to go against Jake Paul. Yeah, I do you remember. Know what, do you know what the spread was on that? It didn't end up going through because he Paul got Paul was hurt. a favorite, correct? No, not a favorite. Fury was a favorite, but not by he was minus 160. Yeah, even money almost. Yeah, I, right? I listen. Yeah, I, I think Tommy Fury would have beat him. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Rolling Dump Show to let you know the Rolling Dump Show is brought to you by a sponsor, a company, a product that I use every damn day. That is Athletic Greens. If you want to increase just your overall health, for me, not just physical health, mental health as well. Athletic Greens has been by my side day after day. It's lifestyle friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or you're gluten-free. Athletic Greens was created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health issues. He created Athletic Greens after experiencing how difficult it was to create an optimal nutrition routine on your own. Athletic Greens gets it done for me, I think they'll get it done for you. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially headed into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune support and vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Folks, we interrupt the show to let you know that this podcast is brought to you and sponsored by BetterHelp online therapy. Life can be overwhelming and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. Betterhelp.com can help you with all of that. It is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Hours. The podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp.com and the Brilliantly Dumb Show listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash BDS. Again, 10% off for their first month at BetterHelp.com slash BDS. Try it today. You won't regret it. The live golf thing to me 
is mm. fascinating because the PGA has never had to scramble like this. And Phil Mickelson was just in a press conference because he's at the U.S. Open. It was a bad. Yeah, look. I didn't. I didn't see it, but Bob, you were saying it, it was pretty bad. You got to watch it, Joe. He was, you know, Phil. He's always this likable, lovable guy. He's so comfortable with himself. They were hitting him with questions that I, he was so uncomfortable, and he was getting a little snippy with like reporters. It was this guy is beloved, and he's going down and I'm not saying what he's doing is wrong. I don't really even know where I stand with the players going over. Like I still don't really have, I still don't know what to think of it. Like if it's such a bad thing or not, but what I will say, the way that Mickelson addressed this press conference, I thought was terrible. I thought he totally, totally killed himself. He was getting snippy with reporters and you could just tell he was very, very uncomfortable. I mean, I, I, the thing that bothers me the most about it is Phil Mickelson to me is like one of the faces of golf. Like yeah, in the definitely. last, even in the for last, a casual golf fan, I mean, uh, Phil Mickelson the, would be the second golfer I name. I would name Tiger yep. and I would name Phil. Yep. Uh, yeah. And not only is he the face of golf, he's like the guy that everybody likes. He's like the go to yeah, guy, the genteel guy who chops it up with the fans, who, is like outgoing. I'll never forget when he won the PGA championship in Kiowa, which wasn't that long ago, by the way, it was just a little over a year ago. It was for all intents and purposes, one of the highlights in the last decade of golf. It was truly an underdog story. No one thought he had a chance. The course was playing incredibly tough. He came out of nowhere. He won. I remember they swarmed the 18th green when he won. It was like a heroic win. It was a win for the good guys. He was like one of the guys. And now it's like he is just, as Bob said, he is tarnishing his image. And not only that, you see how he looks? He looks horrific. Yeah. He looks like he's been through a bender. He's coming out. He just looks just shady as fuck. I think his gambling has <laughs> gone out of control. And it's sad to see because this is a guy that people are used to rooting for, kind of like Tiger. Like if you ask me after Tiger, I think Phil is one of the one of the good guys of golf. Yeah, and whether whether you're on board with with the live or not, you can't deny the fact that he's really tarnishing his career to where nobody would say a bad word about the guy yeah. now. Some would call him the villain of golf. And again, whether you whether you are for the live or against it, but I'm watching him in this press conference and outside of the money that he made in the press conference, it almost looks as if he's regretting the decision he made. It was it was a bad mind you, he got peppered with really tough questions. As he should. As he should. As, as he but, should. And by the way, I watched the championship yesterday for the RBC and they had the the commissioner or the the main guy for the PG on and props to Jim Nance he was asking some very hard hitting questions as he always does the man's a legend he is an absolute stud and he was asking hard pressed questions and i thought that the guy handled himself very well but it's you know they don't own any of the major championships the PGA has no control so someone like Phil or Dustin can go play right now in the live tournament and then come back and play the masters or the PGA or the U S open, which is what's happening right now. And they're trying to take control over it. And it's just very interesting because there's a real divide right now in the world of golf that we haven't seen in a long For time. Some reason though, like I'm not mad at Dustin Johnson. Cause like, I just don't think he knows, nor does he give a shit. I mean, he is well, like, he's got Paulina to take care of. He needs all the money that yeah, he can get right you know, now. I, I would like to say something on Paulina Gretzky. I had just such a, outrageously cold take not on the podcast maybe i said it to you joe or somebody i used to say that i didn't think paulina gretzky was that hot i was so wrong I mean, have you seen this girl this girl well, well she is a like a walking married. inferno my my <laughs> tv is a very i mean you can still admit that the girl's hot bob it's not a crime to humanity Mikey this girl no, i mean I, you could appreciate art and beauty i mean that's part <laughs> of being a human being and not to mention her dad Imagine having your fucking father-in-law be the greatest hockey player who ever yeah. lived. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And pretty the cool. guy loves golf. He's like a man's man. Paulina said there's 
an interview. They said, what did you think to, to Wayne when he first met Dustin? He said, you should marry him. I mean, now that, that, that guy is, he, this yeah, talk about a guy who knows what's going on. Tell you what, I got no, I, I got no issue with Dustin Johnson. I really don't. I, Apparently I happen, he's a really nice guy as for I, Keegan. I happen, I happen to really like him. By the way, Keegan Bradley's got a interview coming up for the U.S. Open, and they did like a whole thing with him. He's got the, <laughs> the bagel with hat. locks bucket hat that we <laughs> sent them in the back. I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. unbelievable. Now, uh, another thing that I want to get to, and I think we could say it by now, if not, fuck it. Um, but uh, and remind me to, by the way, get to our prize picks. Um, just a little prize picks promo here for the boys. Yes. And Bear Down. I'm glad to see that down there. Um, but uh, we did an interview that's going to be coming out with Josh Allen. Um, it's going to be coming oh, out it's a doozy. next Tuesday. It's a doozy. And no, Saturday. No, no. Saturday, we're doing the, the podcast. And then the pod, the podcast for the people listening releases Tuesday. People, oh. Corona sent us polos for us to wear on the interview. <laughs> 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 Did you guys actually finally get them or what? No, we have them sent to Boston. Yeah, so they they (laughs) sent polos for us to wear during the interview with Josh Allen. Now, Bear Down isn't even represented by Corona and Bear Down. Not yet, not yet, not yet. It will be, but... But Bear Down had the goal to not only get the get the the <laughs> polo, and he really did a commendable thing by coming on. It was with, impressive with the polo. So I'm like, wow, look at Bear Down. He get the polo. He's coming on with the polo. He had a whole thing ready to go to interview Josh Allen, and Corona all of a sudden didn't want us. Am well, I wrong? Because we didn't have to... our, we didn't we didn't have ours. And then so Bear had... Down actually be the only guy who wasn't represented <laughs> was wearing the Corona polo <laughs> for the interview. I mean, a bet on you're a good team player because I mean, really I knew he was pissed. Yeah, so the lady goes, You know, you think you maybe want to change? So he had to get up. He, he had to change. I mean, outfits. that wasn't that wasn't really the issue. And the lady was nice, you know, but I mean, then she's like, And it has to be a shirt with no logo at all on it anywhere. <laughs> and every shirt I own, shout out, rollback. Yeah. Right. Every single, and I, when I tell you, Joe, every single fucking t shirt, polo, everything I tried to pull out. And then I tried to pull out a couple other things. That, you know, I got a couple of Adidas shirts lying around. You know how difficult it was for me to find a shirt with nothing on it? You know what? It's it a took lot 20 harder. minutes. I thought he was doing you a wardrobe too. change in the correct, background. Correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, but I know Bear Down. And he was pissed. He was pissed. And oh, yeah. To the together. point where it took a few minutes <laughs> during did. the interview where he, he didn't say did. a word. And I knew he was just decompressing. I was like. Let's just keep it out of bear. I want to take so, it out on Josh so Allen. It's, it's me. It. It's oh, me. by the way, how nice a guy is Josh? Yeah, Wanna, I tell you what, a plus guy. It was, a it, plus was guy. it was me, Cutsy, and Josh Allen just kind of just waiting for Bear Down to come back. Up. <laughs> 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 it was like we wait. We were waiting for the real talent to come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by the way, folks, um, let's talk sponsors. What better sponsor than our good friends over at Prize Picks? They got the boys together. They got the whole band wow together. They got Mikey V. They got Giuseppe D. They got Fat Perez. They got myself. Prize picks. Your promo code is going to be the boys. You get a free $100 when you sign up. It'll match you up to $100. Prize picks is the right way. It's the only way to enjoy daily fantasy sports. Am I wrong, Giuseppe D? No. And we say right, right here and there, if you're not with the boys, you're not one of the boys. So be one of the boys. And bet with the boys. There we go. Amen to that. There we go. Take it from the guy with the Lombardi trophy in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That yeah, thing. it really is. It, it I really mean, how really nice is. is this thing, <laughs> though? It's a, I mean, and then it's Chet held it up. It's actually Joe, heavy. It's obnoxious. It's just, what do you mean it's obnoxious? It's obnoxious. It, if it was hidden, like in the back, like if it was. Where's in the your back. bear? Where's your bears one, huh? Oh, they don't have one. They don't have one. There oh. it is. I'm not disputing that, but I mean, if I had like an Ohio State like national championship replica trophy, and I just sat, I don't have a trophy case. I just, I, 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 this is a one and done. I'm not going to show it off every week, but it's, it, you know, you know, shout out to my cousin Lou. Now he moved it closer. No, shout out to my cousin Louis. He got me a nice gift. And normally I would have like a trophy case in the back to put it up, but I didn't. Cousin Louis, God bless and respect. He's a great guy, cousin Louis. A wonderful gift. Sounds like it. (laughs) <laughs> well, one one last you... thing to say by the way before we go on to the top five <laughs> because go. it needs to be brought up the the absolute tyranny that bear down went on Ooh. tyranny or, or yeah. tirade Let's tyranny tyranny tyranny, 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 tyranny whatever you want to call 
You swear, Bob, I don't know if you saw this, but he That's went on an Instagram live and went ballistic to the extent that you swear he would have had his car stolen or his house fucking robbed. It was worse. I, Wait, well, well, let's, Rob let's Hobb for $70 was compromised. And this guy was on there comparing this young man let's, to whale shit. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> this young man? This young man? Well, guy, guys, on, guys, on, I don't know. Easy, maybe. boys. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> let's have the big ticket play the clip. So oh, people can understand. It's a long clip. I hope you have time for it's it. It's one Dude, minute was, long, Joe. It's one minute long. Rob, let's play the clip and then we'll pick oh, up from there. I get an email from PayPal notifying me that some scumbag, useless, degenerate, trash bag hauling yokel from West Windsor, New Jersey tried to hack my Grubhub account to get wings and pizza fucking delivered to his house in West Windsor, New Jersey. Grubhub. We're hacking Grubhub accounts to order $70 worth of wings and pizza for his family because he's too big of a bum to go out and work for his fucking money. Too big of a bum to go out and work for his family, hustle a couple jobs, get a little side hustle going. He's got to hack my Grubhub account to feed his own family. Absolutely disgusting low life behavior. I want you to know you're the lowest form of life on the face of the earth. The face of the earth. You are the lowest form. You're lower than whale shit. You know what that means? You're at the bottom of the fucking ocean. That's what it means. Well, All right. So well, here, here's what I say. First off, I never want to see you mad on my behalf, Bear Down. But oh, you angry, love when I I know it, I know the, Bob. an angry riled up Mikey V, especially when you it's about the bears. Stop. Is the best thing of all time. It's my it's my favorite <laughs> thing ever. Now I will say, to be rub, the only thing that I do kind of not respect <laughs> because clearly the guy has nothing better to do. But what I do think was kind of cool, like the guy just wanted a meal. Like when people beg on the street, there a lot of yeah. them are begging for drugs, and you do give them money if you believe that they just want food. <laughs> this guy just wanted some wings. He could have called <laughs> me. He hacked my whole shit anyway. Just call me at that point. I, 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 I honestly would have sent him food, Bob, if he was that desperate. The fact that, first of all, the problem is, is now all these secondary third-party apps, Grubhub, uh, the other one, Joe, the one that you put on that poor girl. Yeah, 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 that one. All these, all these third-party apps where it requires another password and linking a bank account or a PayPal account. There's just so many susceptible password leaked things out there. And this degenerate lowlife on a Sunday night has a $70 meal, tries to deliver it. And then the instructions that he put in the delivery order was what was really made what me did he laugh. Say? He was like, um, please do not call or ring the doorbell. Just leave it and send me a text message because it was probably not his real address. It was probably just a random address and he was going to go get it once he got the text message. I'll That's a nice what, neighborhood too. They delivered. People, people got nothing better to do. I, no, I mean, it's really, sickening. It, These it, people are technological terrorists and they need to be brought to justice the same as anybody else. Bob. By the way, I, they're operating with impunity. Nobody cares. Cuts <laughs> is calling him a good guy. Bob I, see, I said was, a young Bob man. Bob thinks it was funny. Bob thinks, uh, you know, it was cool. That's what Bob just said. You know what part of it was cool? Cuts thinks he's a good guy. He's a gentleman, whatever. I never said him. that. I said and he's a young man. Meanwhile, he's taking money out of my pocket that I could be buying diapers for my children. Oh, he went there. You know? with it you know? man you know by the way he caught bear down caught this within microseconds oh, order going through they, they didn't, did. didn't put those wings in the oven by the time <laughs> you they hadn't even finished splashing the <laughs> buffalo <laughs> sauce on those bear down was that. already on the fucking did. phone did throwing you a see the pizza he ordered bob what a disgraceful order a cilantro chicken pizza. it's obviously what, a very confused that? young man who just yeah he oh. definitely is well definitely Cutsy, is. i think whatever pizza shop you ordered that beef French pizza from that you were talking the about Buffalo, the other day. It's a blue, beef and blue cheese, Bob. Short some respect. Oh, God. Do you know how many That's people my I have picture sent me pictures? Oh, seen. my God. It was unbelievable. I don't know why I, we're talking about that again. I don't know how that came up. Looks like oh, a spare God. tire. You know what? And I <laughs> drizzled in icing. See, I got, I wanted to bring it up on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See, 
that was the worst looking. <laughs> oh, the picture was so bad. Yeah, cuts it. The way of course, cuts you it. found the worst fucking picture the on the World Wide Web. Cuts. It was the first one that popped up. The uh, way, first one. You probably scrolled through five pages to way, find the worst. The, the <laughs> way, the the way, the way, picture the, Bear not put on. And by the way, Fastbender put it on. No, actually, you didn't. No, I, no, I'm not no, going to no. call Fastbender no, out. No, Bear no, not put the picture up. This poor kid probably hasn't put a picture up in months. But I will say this. By the way, I'm going to call Fastbender out right now. Can we please? Please no. tell him, th- no, Bear Down, you will agree to this. It should go bottom to top, five to one, instead of five to one from the top to Bob. the bottom. Look at Bob. Bob, how hard so is that to, to relate? mentally exhausted. This guy has graphic. one job, just is relate. Is Fassbender still doing the top five graphic, though, Bob, or is it not even him it doing sure it? sure is it. He's doing yeah. it terrific. Okay. Oh, okay. Doing it I didn't know. Can I didn't I, know. Can I just say, I've had so many people hit me up. It should be bottom is five, four, three, two, and one. Bear Down, is that, am, am I wrong in saying this? I'm going to say that I think it would make more sense, but I'm not going to say that Fassbender hasn't done a, he's cleaned up. I'm not saying that he's done a good job, job. I think he's but it's just a very simple piece of analogy of of assessment that I have heard from multiple angles. In Fassbender's defense, in Fassbender's defense, I've (laughs) never said anything to him. Like I've never told him and I probably. What's his actual name? Hass Rider? Uh, yes, Henry, yeah. Hank, Big Hank. (laughs) Yeah, you bear down control on the Hank. Can we move, can we move on? Yeah, I mean, it's almost time for top five, if I'm being it's honest. It's almost time for top five, but yeah. I got a clip that I found the other day, oh, and it is one. Bear Down, you are, it is. Is right it a Bear Down clip? It is a Giuseppe <laughs> D clip. Oh, of course, okay, it's good, always good, good, Giuseppe good. D clip. See, That's yeah, all we have. Is just waiting. It's like me and Cuts are just walking on It's always me. Who's it going to be? Who's yeah. gonna be? So, do you remember when we got hammered at Bel Air Country Club? And yeah. the caddy, the caddy had to drive us home. Yeah, I got pissed at so the caddy. He got pissed at the cuts. He got into it with the caddy on like the twelfth hole. It was hysterical. And I lost my shit. Lost his shit at this caddy. And in Cutsy's defense, the caddy was a fucking prick. And, and by the I way, now we're, we're on good terms. I now, yeah, multiple times with this caddy now, and he treats me like. But gold. ended up happening though after they got so pissed, we ended up getting so hammered that he had to drive us to where we were. Right. And we were so hammered. We go out to dinner. We go back. I'm still hammered. And I go back to Lauren, who was my girlfriend at the time. I go back to her place. And Cutsy, I find out, is still waiting for his Uber. So I, he's getting all pissed at his Uber. And I am hammered. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to prank him. So I'd star no, six, seven. I remember him. this shit. I star six, seven him. <laughs> and I call as the Uber driver. And I act like I don't speak that good of English. I'm like, I can't understand him. If you hear this back and forth between the Uber driver and Katsi, I'm like, Taco Bell? And Katsi's like, what do you mean, Taco Bell? I'm going to have to take and play the audio. Does he even have that audio? Oh, he does. Hello. 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 Uh, Where are you? I'm in front of the restaurant. Where are you at? Taco Bell. Oh, my God. I'm in front of the restaurant. Where are you parked? Taco Bell. Hello. Taco Bell. Not Taco Bell, no. Mexicali, the restaurant. Where are you at? Cali Bell. Mexicali. <laughs> Where are you parked? Taco Bell. Hello. Taco Bell. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, this guy's been waiting in the fucking in the annals. He's just been waiting for this thing He's to got drop. A vault. Oh, Bob's got a vault in that phone of 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 such evidence against everybody. And you bad. know, you know who's even got a deeper vault than me? Jet. The big, the big ticket. Who, I'll works, take out who works hand in hand with the jet now? So he just, I mean, look, ticket could bury me. He could bury any one of us. The He's sickest got thing it. about Bob is he has all these photos compiled of me that he, I agreed 
that if I ever lost a lot of weight and I got back into shape, he's going to post. He called it the wall of shame, Bear Down. <laughs> it's just, literally 50 that's, photos that's of me terrible. where I look like a walking whale. <laughs> no, and it's and he's just waiting. He's just waiting and encouraging a me. Wa- a walking whale. That's and, and, Yeah, and, a walking beluga. And it's it's he calls it the wall. <laughs> he says, cuts, it'll do, it'll do such good numbers, the wall of shame. And you'll be able to look fit and, and, and laugh at yourself. And meanwhile, wow, I'm looking so at these photos. It's yeah, me it's down terrible. on the couch like this, bear down, <laughs> and my guts hanging out. And Bob is like a modern, a modern day PT Barnum, and you are one of his circus freaks. <laughs> yeah, now. I am. Yeah. I'm like the, I'm like the fucking woman with the hair on her, me- on her fucking neck. You know? Yeah, that's the bearded lady cuts. That's bearded the word you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the lady with the hair on her face. But, you know what I'm talking about? If I may, <laughs> I mean, all freak. I, a huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and he does the same shit to me, Joe. You're 100 percent right. A huge reason why Giuseppe D is where he is today is he was been able to laugh at himself and anything goes. So yeah, I mean, look, I, there is we got some heaters in the archives that we could roll out. With that being said, tickets got some stuff on me. I mean, that I wouldn't be surprised if he yeah, one day out. I might pull it out. I might pull the ace of spades out the, there, Bob. The big tickets got some stuff to where nobody's safe. He's got big, deep archives. Um, gentlemen, I tell you this tremendous podcast so far. And the, the beauty of it is the podcast isn't even done. Um, we got our top fives to get into. And today I do like this top five. Um, today we are going to do top five fruits and to start us off we are going to have mikey v that's going to be mikey bear down cuz is going to start us off this is top five fruits brought to you by mikey villani ladies and gentlemen number five on a technicality it has to be said because without it there'd be a lot missing in life tomatoes have to be included in the top five list there are fruit and without them, you don't have ketchup. You don't have sauce. You don't. It, without a tomato, I'm sorry, everybody's gonna everybody's gonna make faces. But if if we're talking about fruits, tomato is a fruit, and you cannot have tomato outside of the top five. It's number five because obviously it's not something like you crave a piece of fruit. But tomato slices with mozzarella, technically, capre salad. Joseph, you're a man of culinary intelligence. That is technically a fruit. The tomato yeah, is not, a I mean, fruit. he's not wrong, but that's... Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're not okay. wrong. It's, it's okay. a very gray okay. area, but... Now I'm moving on. Number four, nectarines. Give me a nectarine, <laughs> a juicy nectarine. Yeah, yeah, give me the nectarine. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Oh, the he's peaches, off the peaches... Start. Oh, the, is this... The peaches, is, the peaches more lovable cousin, the nectarine, and I'm going to tell you why I choose it over a peach. A peach Similar is better. I'm going to tell you why sure. not, not in my book, Joe, because when I bite into a peach, I have some kind of reaction to the fur on a peach. <laughs> okay. That, yeah, I, I, that's fair. Okay. That, okay. That's okay. Okay. I, bro, I'm telling the fuzziness. you, I, yes, I looked it I up, no I looked it up and that's a legitimate like condition <laughs> people have with biting into a peach. Like some people cannot get past the fuzziness of the peach skin. The nectarine eliminates that problem. You still get the juiciness of the peach without the fur, with the furry fuzz. Give me the nectarine at number four. Number three, blueberries. I love blueberries. I think blueberries are the most versatile, one of the most versatile fruits. You could put them on top of cold cereal. You could put them in oatmeal. You could put them on, in pancake batter, uh, a big breakfast fruit, uh, dessert big time flavor for like ice cream or or anything blueberry flavored is delicious give me fresh blueberries at number three the best of the berries in my opinion number two i'm gonna go apples i i I love apples apple pie again one of those fruits that could deliver across the board in many different ways so many apple based things you know apple sauce i i think the apple is is a is a staple fruit in anyone's household should be if it's not and then number one, I'm going to go with the big dog. I'm going to go bananas. I'm going to go with bananas, number one. I love uh, a good banana. Um, again, a very versatile fruit, I think. Uh, you know, it could do breakfast. You could do it any time of the day. You have a banana. Uh, I just, you know, I, I can't see a world without, but I just think bananas just, they're great. Mikey, they're great. if I asked you <laughs> they're great, for great fruit. 
the Vegas odds, or I should say, Joe, if I asked you for the Vegas odds when we did the top five of somebody going from tomato to nectarine, what oh, do you think those odds would have been? Probably plus plus a thousand plus plus a hundred thousand plus that's 10, it. 000. Yeah, oh, plus ten thousand. That man. was. I'm not really man, worried I will about see it. This, I will say this. Bear down has been dominating the top five, so he was due Thank for a you, blunder. Thank he's been due, he's due for a blunder, and this Thank week you, is Joe. the blunt. You're See, welcome. I'm, that's fine. This one was not one of your greatest. I, but you have been dominating oh, the top fives. I have oh, been. They're due for a, for a <laughs> curve. Not, uh, See, I think I've bounced back in the top fives. I think the love that I've gotten back into the top five. Right, now, mind you, remember, there's a handicap for your top that, five. See, though, that's the stuff. That, that's so. <laughs> I'm that's just not kidding, fair. I'm just that, I'm just that, and now I guarantee you, I don't win this top five. But it's a good. Oh top five. my! That's what's gonna God, happen. Joe, can you that's what happened. The, he's not when he's, you guys called out the faithful for favoritism towards me. I didn't. I didn't win a top five for seven straight weeks. Joe, are you listening to us? I'm listening. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's his it's his crutch. It's his crippled crutch that he's. <laughs> his crippled crutch. I mean, this guy. He's, you just like give tiny, him a foot, he's like and tiny he, he takes a whole football field. It, it's. <laughs> I don't get the respect I deserve on the top fives. Please, sir, can I have some more some more votes? <laughs> wow. Uh, guys, guys, start my top five. Go oh, ahead. You up, Bob? It'll I'm be up. better than Bear Downs. Well, that's for sure. Why, why do you Maybe. think I want to go, Joe? There's a reason. I'm going. He said nectarine. I said I'm next. Um, <laughs> Nectar- nectarine's a hell of a fruit. Now, when I think fruits, a lot of the times I think smoothie, and I think, what can I take okay. into a smoothie? I'm really, really becoming a big smoothie guy. I have smoothie phases. Um, first fruit I think of in my five hole is the banana. I just think what the That's banana does for you is, is smoothies, the whole nine yards. Um, number four, I don't know how you boys will feel about this. It's not a bear downs list. Um, number four, I got cantaloupe. I, I, I think cantaloupe a good is cantaloupe it's not good is, one. you know, it's got to be soft though. If you have it where it's like a hard, you know what I mean? No good. A nice, soft, ripe cantaloupe. Fuck me up. Yep. Um, number three, you want to talk smoothies? We're talking strawberries. Strawberry smoothie, strawberry pancakes. Now I'm curious, Baron, because I thought this would be on your list. What what's the issue you have with the strawberry? I I don't have any issue per se. I I just think the blueberry is a superior berry. That's okay. the only that's. But I I it's not that I dislike strawberries. I it's just a, think the blueberry is superior. Okay, in my opinion, strawberries do, are good, Bob. I do like strawberries. Yeah, I got strawberry. I will say, I think blueberry pan. I'm not a huge blueberry pancakes. Blueberry pancakes tend to work better than strawberry pancakes. And blueberry but, muffin. Blueberry muffin slaps, Bob. Yeah, love okay. a good blueberry muffin. I'm You're not a blueberry sure. bagel. Yeah, blueberry bagel. Another great. Yep, yep, yep. I'm yep. Trying to counter with a strawberry, but I. Uh, <laughs> not doing well um <laughs> yeah strawberry at three number two i got watermelon i know this is going to be high on giuseppe d's list he's a big absolutely. watermelon guy watermelon is is just absolutely spectacular it happens to age well a lot of fruits don't age too well watermelon can give you a few days um mm-hmm. really just a tremendous fruit i mean even like a, a watermelon even like a lollipop anything even candy wise you see watermelon yeah. You know you're in good hands. And number one is the most action-packed fruit you're going to get to where when you bite, it's going to hit. It's going to hit you hard, strong Mm. flavor across the board. Let's say it on three then, Mikey V. One, two, three. Pineapple. Pineapple. Mm -hmm. Yep. I got the pineapple there. And part of the reason that I got the pineapple too, one of my favorite drinks now that I have one day the jet was over and we didn't have like anything really. I kind of had the, we knew we wanted to drink. We didn't know what I had pineapple juice and I had tequila. Yeah. That's a great mix. That's a good mix. It's, it's great unbelievable mix. to where even if you want to chase down a shot, chase it down with pineapple and call me after it's the best chaser. There is There's a lot it, of other remedies that are very profitable for the male to drink as well, but we Jesus won't go here. Or there, Bryce. I knew. What do you mean? I knew. <laughs> Bob. 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 Well, I'm Bob, just saying, Bob. On a night when you're expecting a little action, have a little glass of pineapple juice. So, Bob, or you know, pineapple juice is, is make you horny. Is, no, 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 no. Um, no. It, 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 it apparently it sweetens it, a certain something. 
it alters the uh, the <laughs> it alters the flavor profile of your of your Sweden's of your it. yes. I I feel so. <laughs> I feel so you never heard of this before, Bob? I am so on the outside loop to where I still don't know where we are. I I don't know. Drinking pineapple juice will alter the flavor of your personal juice that you produce. Yes. Of, of cum? Yes. Fuck off. Ejaculate. That's the yes. most ridiculous thing. It is absolutely no, it's, 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 it's a true. scientific fact, Bob. Bobby's not lying on that. The pineapples are, are in your favor, Bob. It, uh, hold on. I, know it's a, <laughs> I can't I, make this shit up. I know Bob. this isn't appropriate for the show. I know this isn't the fucking Howard Stern show. But it's but, true. It smells better or tastes. No, better? it's Sweden. Well, I mean, I couldn't tell you. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't that's, know. Well, it's got think it's both ends of the spectrum. No, it 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 is. If you ever have a girlfriend, she so will tell you, you before tell a me. night of lucrative engagement, have a glass of pineapple juice. So you mean to tell me you've had pine? I'm not done with this. You've had pineapple juice. This guy just doesn't sex, get it. And you've asked the girl, hey, does that smell better? Or no, Bob, why do you think he's wearing the polo? He's advertising to the female <laughs> world. Listen, I'm down with the pineapples. You got nothing to worry about. Oh, it's a fact. Look it up. If we asked 10 people about that, how many people would? Yes, know? probably seven. Uh, probably seven. Yes, Joe, right on the I would say seven. Yep. It's a well-known fact. Yep. Do you know what, what else I heard about a pineapple, actually? If you walk in the grocery store and Swingers. you have. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like the upside down pineapple. Actually, another reason Joe wears the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this was not planned or no, coordinated. No, by the way, pretty good. This just I mean, I got oranges happen. on mine. You got pineapples on yours. It worked out pretty nice, <laughs> to be honest. And it was completely. We were uh, actually prepared for this episode, yes, Bear Down. Yes, yes. Unlike Bob, oh, I can't man. believe. Let's take it over to, to Giuseppe D. Bob, you look so. Bob, you got, you look oh yeah, so pineapple shocked. was one. I'm sorry. Yes, that's yes, amazing yes. to me that that correlates. Yeah, it does. All right, moving this on. Um, five, I'm I got pineapple. Go, at five, <laughs> I'm going to go with a fruit that was not mentioned yet and I think is delightful. I'm going to go with cherries at five. Love cherries. I actually think cherries are so delightful, and there are different variations. Have you ever tried a white cherry? Those yeah, are white cherries fucking are fucking unbelievable. Yeah. I don't think they get sometimes the love that they deserve because they're very seasonal. But yep. they're something you can just put in the bowl in the summertime yes. and pop them in. And they're so yes. good and fruitful and bursting of flavor. Give me cherries at five. All right. I love that. At number love four, that. I'm going to go with a Bob pick. I'm going to go with strawberries. I think strawberries are very versatile fruit. Bob, you mentioned it before. I don't need to reiterate it. I think strawberries are delicious. I love strawberry smoothies. I love straw any, any capacity of them. Fresh strawberries on my waffles. Done sealed delivered by the way strawberry cheesecake is the goat uh strawberries at four number three this is where it gets a little bit tricky i'm gonna go with number three with another fruit that was not mentioned mangoes mangoes to me are delightful they're very very sweet they're delicious and they're kind of like um almost like an accentuated fruit it's almost like a high-end fruit it's not something that you just get like in a buffet line. They're like very high end mangoes at three and number two, I am going to go with the pineapple. Pineapple is fucking delicious. I love it. It tastes ex exceptional. Um, and then at number careful, one, Joe, careful, <laughs> careful, Joe, let's relax. Okay. Get your heads out of the gutter <laughs> up until a minute ago. Bob didn't even know what I was talking about. Smells that's good. That's it tastes also good. even better. And this at number one, Bob <laughs> was absolutely right at number one. I'm going watermelon to me. It's just so delicious. It's refreshing. And by the way, you can buy the watermelons now without the seeds. So you don't even have to worry about it. And, and it's just, it's to me, it's a summer delicacy when it's hot outside and I need ref something to refresh me, a big chunk of watermelon. And by the way, I don't know if this is just me. It's just a question for you, gentlemen. Do you find that the best part of the watermelon is the part right above the rind because it's the firmest piece of the actual watermelon? I don't like the top sometimes if it's a little soft. I like the middle. Up. I think I like the middle ground between I the like rind the, and the top. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. a, a good firm bite of it. I don't like the, the crumbly, like soft top. I like a firm piece of watermelon that I can chew into and it just it just bursts with refreshing flavor. That is my number one. Honorable mention, Joey D. 
Honorable mention, I'm going to go with blackberries. I think blackberries are fucking delicious. Dominic, again, Dominic a big blackberry fan. They're so them. good. You know, you put them with some ice cream or you can, again, you can do a ton with them. Pancakes, you can do. I mean, blackberries give me as my honorable mention. Mikey V. You know what I love? A good juicy pear. I love a good pear, like a golden pear. I, pear is an underrated fruit, in my opinion. Very underrated fruit. Definitely would have been better than tomato, but sure. I well, tomatoes. Is, you can't. I, I don't think you could have a top five without many. But again, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll tell you a fruit that I hate is honeydew. Yeah, yeah it's cantaloupe's terrible. bastard cousin. Yeah. <laughs> where do you get? The, where do you get? They this are. They're, they're, because they're, it is. It's it's, it's the same family. It's everything a cantaloupe isn't. <laughs> They're it's, in the melon it's, family. It's hard. It's always hard. It's never as sweet. It's never close to as sweet as a, as a cantaloupe. Cantaloupe was a great play. Honeydew is just honey. It's the don't worst. Honey don't it's the worst. Well, what's your honorable mention? You know, I would probably go. I think I would go mango. And honestly, too, not only are mangoes good, but they have. It sounds refreshing. You say mango, it yeah. sounds, you know what I mean? Mango's a great know, pick. You know what? No love for coconut by anybody. I'm not a I do fan. like coconut, but I wouldn't put it in a top five. I feel like coconut's something you can only eat so much of, yeah. and then you get yeah. tired of. By the way, yeah. I, I'll tell you this. I I am so rattled about this pineapple thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing to me. I, of I, everything I, we talked about, the pineapple's the one that got him. Amazing. Because you two, I, at first I'm like, they're fucking with me, but you guys were so no, insane. Look it up. No. Um, that I, I guess I'm the three out of the ten that don't get that. But I will tell you this, gentlemen. Very, very special episode. Very yep. special episode. As um, always. As always. Yeah. You yeah. got Joey Cold Cuts. You got Mikey V. You we got, got the Lombardi. Bob. You got the Lombardi. I love you, boys. <laughs> I appreciate you, boys. Until next time, that's another edition of the Brilliant Dumb Show.